Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, aviation enthusiasts of all ages, welcome to the Rotary Charity Air Show. Let's give the volunteers a round of applause. The Skyhawks is one of the only teams in the world that do all these formations without the use of any straps whatsoever. This formation means a lot of teamwork. This is actually a military grade smoke grenade which burns very hot phosphorus. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our paramedics team. Welcome everybody to the Rotary Charity Air Show and on behalf of the Brantford Rotary Club. Uh, we are very pleased to once again be able to bring this show to you. The crowd looks absolutely amazing. Thank you to the Rotary Club for this wonderful event every year. All of the volunteers, the sponsors, everyone that had anything to do with putting this show on. This is one of our best opportunities to show our two communities, Brantford and Brant County, working together. Bill Shepard piloting a North American P-51 Mustang. That 1,490 horsepower Rolls-Royce Merlin engine the Tuskegee Airmen were willing to serve and die for a country, not willing to serve them because of the color of their skin. In reality, the Airmen fought and won two battles, the one against racism and the one against fascism. Today we're actually here to uh, display the aircraft, support the, uh, the Rotary Air Show here, and people are welcome to have a look at the aircraft, climb inside the cockpit, take some pictures, talk to me, talk to the ground crew, and of course, visit our stores as well. The Harvard aircraft being so prevalent and being used during the war and after the war, a very, very rich history and heritage. And me, myself as a pilot, the ground crew here, the service crew and the other pilots, we're very fortunate to be a part of this organization. I feel very fortunate to be able to do this on my own free time and be able to keep part of Canada's flying history alive. Who's ready for some Harvard action? That distinctive roar you hear is produced by the 600 horsepower Brett Whitney. The prop tips are actually breaking the speed of sound, giving the Harvard its distinctive roar. And here comes Marco Rosconi, the Italian stallion, to put an arrow through the hearts. On behalf of the Rotary Brantford Charity Air Show and the Canadian Harvard Aerobatic Team, thanks for coming out and helping us bring history to life. We brought in uh, two aircraft with us. One behind me is a T-28, North American T-28, which was used by the Navy as a trainer. And also we have uh, on the tarmac out there, we have a jet that we're going to be using for the air show this afternoon. And we'll be performing around 500 to 600 miles an hour doing some aerobatics. Now this aircraft was first flown in 1967 and was marketed as a light attack or counterinsurgency aircraft it's a lot of organizations to put an air show together. And it's all volunteers. So, you know, I would just raise my hat to them. Here comes Gord Price from the right. And now at the bottom of the aircraft, it says Dam Pub. Now he actually owns the Dam Pub in Thornbury. This incredible pilot who flies, designs, and builds airplanes. And he's showing us how much he loves flying them. Incredible aerobatics in the sky. He has to train incessantly. He is really showing us what that aircraft can do. My name's Dave Hadfield. I'm a volunteer pilot with Vintage Wings of Canada. And this is a 1942 Westland Lysander. It was used during the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan primarily to train gunners. But the best way to acquaint young people with Canadian aviation history or military aviation history as well is to bring them out to the airplane and open up the door and they can poke the fabric and they can get oil on their fingers and later they can hear it and smell it as we start the engine in the cloud of oil smoke and watch it take off. That'll make an impression that a book doesn't. Uh, sir, we're in the middle of an air show here. We're going to have to ask you to leave the airspace. Uh, uh, I just got here. I just want to show my airplane off. I just built her. One piece at a time. Okay, well, speaking of pieces, I think a piece of the aircraft just fell out earlier. 
spiraling down towards the earth in the Interstate Cadet. Since 1973, he's been performing his incredible aerobatic routines for millions of people. Just where it needs to be. Round of applause for Ken Beach, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the CF-18 Air Demonstration. Good afternoon, Bradford. This is Captain Orion Roy Keen out in the cockpit of Hornet 1. That is 5,000 feet rolling up. Producing 32,000 pounds of thrust, which is more thrust than the whole nine snowbirds. From the right, the tuck under in the tight 360. I'd like to thank all the staff and volunteers for this year's show. What a performance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness. Snowbirds are firing up and ready to go for a high show. Snowbirds check in. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Your 2060 Canadian Armed Forces Snowbirds! Now! What a beautiful afternoon here for a Snowbird High Show. Keep your eyes on center stage. Snowbird split now. Ladies and gentlemen, the snowbird! 